Okay, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Gemini. So Gemini, this is going to be a timeless read, meaning whenever you find it is when the reading is for you. If you hear a buzzing in the background, that's my fan. Um, this is not a twin flame reading, but if twin flame cards do come out, I will let you know. Like I said, this is just a general love reading. It is timeless, but we are focusing on the energy of September. So let's dive right in, Gemini. I'm starting with my Oceanic Tarot. All right, one second. All right, what do we have for Gemini? <clears throat> what do we have for our beautiful Gemini air signs? For love, but not for Gemini. Gemini, what do we got for Gemini? Gemini. What do we have for Gemini, please? We are reading now for Gemini. <clears throat> reading for Gemini. Why are these cards like this right now? They're all upside down. Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. Why are they out like that. I always make sure they're right side up and I don't know what's going on. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. I don't know. All of the cards were flipped upside down. Some of them were right side up. It was very confusing. I don't know what's going on with your energy there. I feel like y'all are confused. <laughs> there are no accidents. So, you know, Someone doesn't know which way is up and which way is down right now. <laughs> There's confusion. All right. I don't know if that's your energy or your person's, but let's, let's rock and roll, Gemini. Gemini. For love. September. The High Priest. So this is the Emperor. So I feel like this is your energy, Gemini. It could be the energy of a divine masculine, but correct me if I'm wrong. It feels like it's your energy. It feels like you're embodying your masculine energy. You're in your boss bitch era. And we have wisdom. So you've been... You've had a lot of wisdom in your life. Um, you've learned a lot of lessons. See, we have death, which is the card of transformation. So some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio, but to me, it feels like I swear that card came out upside down again and I'm going to lose my shit if I have to fix these fucking cards again. No, I don't. All right, hold on. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. So you've acquired lots of wisdom from life, from the lessons that you've had to undergo. You've went through a massive transformation just in the past, what, two or three months? It's incredible. So some things had to end, my beautiful Gemini, so that you could learn lessons in regards to love. And endings can feel painful no matter how, you know, how much we, how much we try to deny it, right? We have 10 of pentacles. This is luck. So you are entering a new cycle now, Gemini, in regards to your love life. 10 is the number of completion. Luck is on your side. Let's keep going. What else do we have for Gemini? Okay, two cards flipped. We're not going to take them because they didn't fully come out. So let's keep going. What do we have for Gemini? This sun card wanted to flip out, but it didn't. It didn't fully come out, so I'm not going to take it. We have the five of cups sadness. So yes, there's definitely been some endings recently. 
You had to let go of something that you really, really wanted, Gemini. <clears throat> and it really transformed your heart. I feel like it transformed your heart for the good, though. Even though you did really, really struggle to let go of this person. The Ten of Pentacles shows me that this new cycle that's coming in is going to be a lot more suited to your new vibration, if that makes sense, Gemini. See, Knight of Pentacles, we have loyalty. We have someone that is willing to offer you the same loyalty that you offer, Gemini. A possible younger air sign, it looks like. Could be another air sign, could be an earth sign. <clears throat> Seven of Swords, we have loss. So you're still in this energy of grieving. So even though I do see someone wanting to offer you something, it's up to you, Gemini, whether or not you're going to be ready for this. Because I do see that this, I mean, we have sadness, we have loss, we have death. You know, it's the energy of like still healing, holding on to things. But... I do see that you are letting go. You're just letting go slowly. You know, you took a huge blow from this person. You felt like they were being very manipulative. They were holding back emotions from you. And, it, and they were. Definitely looks like they were. <clears throat> Wow, see, we have five of pentacles, abandonment. You felt like this person really left you out in the cold. And you know what? It's funny because I feel like your person also feels this way. But it's funny because they, you know, I feel like it was, I feel like they were the one that really sabotaged the connection. And now they're feeling like you moved on from them and you abandoned them. And maybe you're feeling a little bit abandoned too, but it feels to me like they feel abandoned by you, which is ironic, right? Because they were the ones that, it feels like they were the ones that really left you out in the cold. So we have seven of pentacles potential. So if you give yourself time to sort of breathe and heal, I feel like something could really grow with this knight of pentacles. So let's get one more card. Tell us more about this Knight of Pentacles love offer, please, for Gemini. Tell us more about this light Knight of Pentacles love offer. Come in. Love offer, please. Okay, sorry about that, Gemini. So, we have the Hanged Man. Tell me about the Hanged Man. Okay, so we have the hanged man, and then we have judgment, which is self-reflection. So, even if this person comes through right away with an offer, I feel like you're <clears throat> going to want to take a pause, and you're going to want to do some self-reflection, okay? Right now, you are kind of in a space, Gemini. Where you're feeling out your emotions, you're in the water, which is, you know, the healing phase, you're in the, your emotions, you're, you're looking back on the past, you're reflecting on what it is that you really want and desire in a love relationship and in any kind of partnership. Now your person, I feel like your person, the, the new person that wants to come in, I feel like they might not come in right away because they might feel this energy of you being not necessarily closed off, Gemini, but sort of taking a pause, you know, in the dating department because you're just trying to focus on you. You're discovering, you're on a, a journey of self-discovery, right? Maybe you're reflecting on what happened between you and this this other person where you, you know, 
you and the other person definitely felt very wounded, right? But I feel like with this card, this is cause for you to celebrate because you're learning so much about yourself in this energy of the hangman, sort of pausing to, um, you know, figure it out what it is that you want, Gemini. You felt like this person was really cutthroat and cold. The shark shows me like very cold, like literal cold fish energy, right? And, you know, the turtle shows me that there's three turtles here. So it shows me that you really felt like they were moving way, way too slow. They just weren't giving enough energy to you. And you were all in with the dolphin. Like you gave your heart wholeheartedly, you know, and you just had a lot of love and, and, and wisdom and lessons to offer to them. And you really felt like they were your counterpart. Like the two dolphins here show me that you really felt like they were your twin flame and, you know, they just, you know, or your divine counterpart and they just weren't putting in the energy. So what is um, a final outcome for Gemini? I hate to leave it up in the air like this. So it was just 1111 11 on my phone. No way. You can't make that up. Okay. So what's going to be a final outcome for Gemini right now? All right. So we have manifestation, the magician. So whatever you want, Gemini, you can have. You can manifest anything that you want as far as love department. You're irresistible. You know, you're talented and creative and beautiful. And you have such a bubbly, positive outlook that, you know, if you put your mind towards anything, you can achieve whatever you want in any department, not just in, lo in the love department. But I see that you're working really, really hard on yourself. Therefore, you can better, you're better able to manifest what it is that you want in a partner. So now you're going to take your time and you're going to manifest the perfect partner, right? Someone that has everything that you need and they're going to be balanced. They'll have that shark energy, right? The sort of cutthroat, they'll be patient. The turtle shows patience. They'll have that, um, attitude there where they mate for life like the seahorse and you know the cup of love you know that's represented in the dolphin so let's see what the romance angels have to say about your love life okay what do we got for gemini for their love life what else love messages do we have for gemini here please what else does gemini need to know what other messages do we have for our beautiful gemini's our air signs. What else do we have for Gemini, please? For the month of September. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. And let's guide our beautiful Gemini and let them know what they need to hear. From the romance angels. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So... Living in the moment, focusing on yourself, Gemini, makes you extremely attractive. But I think you already know that. Taking time to literally smell the roses. Um, taking time to have fun, to do what makes Gemini, you know, so amazing. And you're drawing people to you left and right anyways. It says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So... Spirit wants you to stay open. They don't want you to close your heart, Gemini. They want you to continue to do all of the things that you're already doing, right? Because just being yourself makes you irresistible and attractive. They also want you to keep an open mind, right? Because your person may come with a different energy than you're used to. You know, if you're used to men being super overly flirty, maybe they're not so flirty, right? Romantic feelings. See, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So, if you have a, if you're starting to feel romantic feelings for someone, follow those. Follow those feelings. Um, if someone develops romantic feelings for you, and maybe they're not your, 
your type. Maybe you're used to men coming at you at a different way. Or if you're um, a, a male, like maybe you're used to women hitting on you and maybe like you need to switch it up a bit. Maybe you need to, you know, um, maybe you need to be the chaser for a while. Or maybe if you just date blondes, you need to start dating brunettes or, you know, vice versa. Whatever it is, trust the process. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind and an open heart. Allow spirit to bring what's going to what's gonna come in, right? Don't close anything off. <clears throat> and trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So once you give complete and utter faith to the universe and trust and surrender is when things are going to start to unfold for you, Gemini. But you have to have faith and you have to trust the energy of Cupid. See, there's two Cupids in there. You have to trust the energy. And the next relationship that comes in is going to be extremely passionate. The roses, the red bow. All of these are indicative of lots of passion. We have a red couch. Red is representative of lots and lots of passion. Even in this card, red flowers, red a red flower close to her heart. Passion, right? Okay. So your advice from the universe is, Gemini, keep an open mind. Your, your person may come in with a different energy than you're used to. Okay. What else do we have for Gemini? We're going to get a spirit message for you, Gemini. What is the spirit message you have for Gemini? And then we'll do your career portion. And we'll end with the spirit guide that is aiding you in your connection. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Can we get two spirit messages for Gemini, please? All right. So we have seven sacred space. I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature's beauty. So it might be time to immerse yourself in some kind of sp sacred space, Gemini. Um, you need to find, mainly, I keep feeling and hearing like you need some inner peace, okay? So create sacred space for yourself, whether that's outside in nature, grounding, or whether that's... <clears throat> um, you know, at home with incense and candles, um, you know, a bath with, you know, bath salts. Create some sacred space for yourself for you to just sit there and relax and reflect. <clears throat> it's number seven. So like I said earlier, you're entering a lucky phase. Remember I said luck was on your side? <clears throat> We have Forest Frolic, sorry, I'm having some throat chakra issues. 38, Forest Frolic Maiden. I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy that she brings. So it's funny that this card would come up for Gemini because I feel like Gemini has a very childlike energy anyways. You guys are very, very whimsical and very, very childlike. And I tend to see... Gemini's inner child literally on their sleeves all the time um, I have you know quite a lot of friends who are Gemini's and you guys have this beautiful fairy like childlike quality about you and you know tap into that tap into that and allow yourself to just have fun right that's gonna bring in you know your person that's gonna bring that's gonna bring them in faster so this is advice from spirit on how to how to bring you know, your true love and faster, right? <clears throat> Frolic and play like the squirrel. You know, the squirrel shows me that sometimes you you get so busy doing things that you don't have time to slow down and play. And spirit wants you to play. They want your inner child to come out. And this is number 11. <clears throat> so, which is the number of twin flames. So the next person that comes in very well could be your twin flame. If it's not the person on your mind already. Last and final message from Spirit. 40. At day's end rest. So this is number four. You are divinely and heavily protected by angels. Four is the number of angelic guidance. So you're being guided by your angels to your perfect partner. You just have to trust the process, Gemini. It says, I find peace in nature and I rest my body and mind in order to connect to spirit. So again, we have two cards. 
of surrounded by nature, right? They said, I find peace, security, and contentment when surrounded by nature. And then again, nature, right? So maybe it's time to immerse yourself in a camping trip, something where you're surrounded by nature. All three of these cards have a very, um, have a fairy in them. So there's a very pixie like fairy quality. So I feel like you might have a beautiful pixie like quality to you. I know I have a friend who is a Gemini and she has a very pixie like quality to her. <laughs> so, all right, let's do your career message for those of you who are wondering what's coming up next for your finances the angels have all of the answers for you so let's rock and roll gemini what do we got for gemini <clears throat> career two career cards for gemini please all right we have abundance mindset yes it says, if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something that you already have. So you, you are in this state of like drawing in so much money to you, Gemini. Look at that abundance mindset. See, feel, think, and speak money. And that's what you're going to experience. But spirit wants you to shift your mindset into abundance. Okay. And it's funny because I posted something on my Instagram story about how you can use all of your chakra systems to manifest, right? By taking the different action and using that as a affirmative action, right? towards manifestation so for example you would start at the root chakra which is i am and say i am wealthy then you would go up to the other chakra which is you know the sacral chakra which is the sexual chakra which is you know um it's um i think it's i desire or i feel so you would say you know i desire wealth i feel wealth and then you'd go up to your other chakra which is you know um the solar plexus which is i do so i do understand it's easy to you know become wealthy i do things to become wealthy then all the way up to your heart chakra and you would say you know i love wealth right because that's the feeling and then up to your throat which is speak I speak wealth, I speak abundance, you know, and so on and so forth up to each chakra until you have all the chakras, um, until you've speaking, speak, spoken something from all of the chakras. So you can try that and see how that goes for you, Gemini. It's safe for you to receive, Gemini. Sometimes we get in this mindset of I'm not good enough to receive love I'm not good enough to receive money and understand that you are you are good enough no matter where you're at in your life I don't care if you absolutely have nothing right now to your name you're still worthy of love and money and wealth and everything if nobody's ever told you that my beautiful gentle loving Gemini's you are worthy of all of the good things in life wealth um abundance, love, um, security, you know, loyalty, all of those things you are. So allow yourself to receive because you deserve it and you're worth it. All right, so let's go on to the last message for Gemini, which is the spirit guide, which is assisting Gemini on their love journey right now. And then we will be done. All right, what else do we have for our beautiful Geminis, please? What do we have for Gemini? All right, 
right, so we have, wow, these energies keep repeating. These are the same cards that I had for Aries, and both of them came out for you, so we're going to take both of them. So we have the Altar Priestess and the Dragon's Duel. So you have a heavy dragon guide who is guiding you. You have two dragon guides. One is silver, silverish white. The other one is blue. And both of these dragons are in an inner conflict. Um, there's some kind of moral conflict that they're fighting over. And this is about making a choice. Okay. So there's some kind of inner conflict in regards to your love life. Where you have to make a conscious choice. A conscious choice. Which means a choice that you're conscious and aware of. Using all of your inner consciousness. Right. And your subconscious, everything that makes you all five of your senses, basically, Gemini, okay, to bring about some type of change. It's number 23. If you add it up, it's five. So something needs to change in your love life. And it comes with a choice, a simple choice. Whatever it is you're fighting over in your heart, maybe it's your head and your heart fighting. I don't know. But squash the conflict and the answer will come. And the altar priestess tells us to prepare and to create a ritual and to make the sacred ritual of prayer part of your daily routine. Talk to the divine. Talk to God. Talk to whatever spirit deity you feel guided to speak with. And put your wishes and prayers out into the universe and let them know what it is that you desire so that they can bring it to you. Make up your own sacred ritual that makes you feel amazing. You know, do your little witchy things, right? Prepare yourself for your partner by becoming the best version of yourself because they're on the way. So number 39, if you add it up, it's 12. You have a new beginning. One is a new beginning. And number two is a number of partnership. So you have a new beginning with a partner. You had the number 11. So the next person that comes in very well could be your twin flame. But you have to prepare yourself for them, okay? By doing whatever it is that makes you feel fucking amazing, Gemini. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, please hit the thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my videos that I upload. It also helps me in the algorithm, you know, to, you know, it pushes my videos out there so more people can hear my messages and stuff. And that's always good. And if you want to book a reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. You just have to click on the little Goldie link. All right, I love you, Gemini. Bye-bye.